Are we? Oh, whatever. We're we really gonna do all? Yeah, just do all of them. I'm gonna like remember things like that. You know? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do all, but I'm gonna do the ones that. Okay, log two is a, log three is b. I'm not gonna even write that down. Log of two point seven. Okay, you're gonna get something like this, or several of these on the test. You gotta prove to me that you know your properties of logarithm. So first step, change it to a fraction. Log. Um, two and seven nine. Which is? Uh, twenty six over nine. No. Or twenty three over nine. No. <laughs> twenty five <laughs> over nine. That's pretty close. Oh man. That wasn't bad. <laughs> you can't do anything. Though. You can't do anything with this. So using your properties of logarithms, that's log of 25 minus log of 9, correct? Yes. And then you go log of 5 squared minus log of 3 squared. Now, why do you want to write it with powers again? Because you can put the power in the front. So 2 log 5 minus 2 log 3. And we know log 3 is B, right? Yeah. Yeah, but Mr. Park, it says log 5. It says log 2 is A. What am I going to do with the log 5? Well, if you did the homework from the last one, you would know, right? If you did expo log 3 on your own, you would know. You would change the 5 to, who did this problem? Silva? 10 over 2. What? Why 10 over 2? Because we're working with log base 10, that's why. Just like on expo log 3, didn't it work? wasn't it base 8? You guys remember that? Oh. I don't know, I still have to do that one. <laughs> so, using your properties of logarithms, this is log 10 minus log 5 minus 2b. But then, Mr. Park, what the heck is that? I thought you said you guys were going to respond. One. One. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that one? Because 10 to the what power equals 10? 1. Yeah. <laughs> and so your final answer is going to be 2 times 1 minus A minus 2B. You can multiply it. You can distribute the 2. Yeah. So you cannot just think of... What, what did I give you? 2 and 3. Is you it also supposed have to be log 10 minus log 2? Yeah, it is 2. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what's the problem? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, now, number two. Remember the last homework from last chapter I passed back? No, was it? It was two chapters ago. It was on function? No! <laughs> yes! Remember you guys didn't get 100% on your homework? Yeah. It was because of this problem. Remember? Sure. It was a problem just like this, because when I checked the homework, I checked the graphs, people f of x is equal to 8 to the x, g of x is equal to log base 2 of x. Graph, first one, y equal f of g of x. So what you do is you take g of x and you plug it into that and so you get 8 to the log base 2 of x. And how, how the heck do you simplify that? Well, we did that on expo log 3, didn't we? How do you simplify something like that? I think on expo log 3, like, wasn't that like a 3 and a 9 or a 9 and a 3 or something? Yeah. Yeah, so how do you simplify that? <laughs> you have to somehow make these two bases the same. So you change 8 to 2 cubed, and then you multiply the exponents. But since it's a log, you can put the number in the front as the power. And then now, what is 2 to the log base 2 of armadillo? Armadillo! armadillo. And do I know how to graph y equal x cubed? Yes. It looks like this. Ooh! -hoo! Box that. That's the answer. No. You would get this problem wrong then. Just like you did last time. Because when you plug, when you have a composition of functions, 
to figure out the domain, you got to look at the domain of the inner function. What's the domain of this function? Whenever you have a log, this thing has to be greater than zero. So x has to be greater than zero. So the graph is not the whole graph. It's just, here, why don't I just do the rest of the dotted line? It's just that part of the graph. Now, do you remember? Because a lot of you got minus 2 when I collected the homework, I remember. You got to look at the domain of the inner function. And then B, you got to plug your graph being G of f of x. Don't count it. So you have to take f of x and plug it into G. So you got to have log base 2 of 8 to the x. What can I do with the power? Put it in the front. And do we know what log base 2 of 8 is? 2 to the what power equals 8? 3. So that simplifies to 3x. So can I just graph y equal 3x? Well, that, that's the answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, you guys look, because I was looking around for people who noticed that. That is the answer. Why? Because you look at the inner function. This is the inner function. What is the domain of that? All real numbers. That's why it is the whole thing. Okay, from now, you know what? We're going to put in the ma rule for now. <laughs> Starting with trig, next chapter. To even come in the door, you got to show me your homework. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and if you don't have it, you got a free period. You just go come after school to make up the time you missed during class. So you miss class 45 minutes, you can come after school for 45 minutes. Yes, can we actually do that? <laughs> no, but if, yeah, look, yes, but if I collect homework that day, or we have a quiz, it means you get a zero. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's called the Ma Rule. <laughs> well, what, what is it going to take? I thought you said you guys were going to catch up on the weekend. I didn't say that. That's what the weekend is for. Don't worry, I'm going to come up with something. I always do it with Silence! <laughs> Okay, next, I'm not going to do number three, right, because it's not up there. Number four. Come on, number four! Are you kidding me? Okay, here we go. How do you solve inequality? So you got negative x squared e to the x plus 2x. See, this is exactly what we do in calculus. When is this greater than zero? What is the procedure for solving inequalities? You make one side zero, which it is. What do you do with this side? It rhymes with vector. You factor it, and then you make a number line, okay? So what can be factored out? Wait, did I copy this problem wrong? Yeah, there's a negative end. What can I factor out? This is easy factoring. This is not like the hard time factoring. Negative x e to the negative x. What's left? x x minus 2. Now we make a number line. What makes this 0? What makes that 0? What makes that 0? No, because e to the 0 is 1. e to the what is 0? <laughs> That's right, nothing. So this, you, you don't put anything on the number line. This is always positive. E to the any power is always going to, we do this in calculus regularly, people. you got to be able to do this. And how do I know it's going to be minus plus minus and not plus minus plus? Well, dumb, that's why. <laughs> Come on, we've done this so many times already. It should be dumb. And then we're looking for greater than zero, so the answer is between zero and two. The procedure for solving inequalities is always the same. You make one side zero, you factor, that's the number line. That's, that's what you do. Okay, number five. Okay, so we got natural log of natural log x. Now I want to know when is this less than zero. 
So yes, you could you could do a number line, but I think it's easier just to solve it. Like here, what can I do to both sides of this equation to get rid of this ln? You e both sides, because e to the natural log porcupine is porcupine, and what is e to the armadillo? Aardvark. <laughs> now how do I get rid of this ln? I got another ln. So you e both sides again. What is e to the natural log gazelle? <laughs> and what is e to the one? <laughs> yeah, but that's not the answer it says on the bottom, Mr. Park. That's because, again, whenever you have, go back to the, this is the original problem. Right whenever you have natural log something, this something has to be what? Greater than zero. How do I get rid of LA? You E both sides. So E to the natural log X is X. E to the zero is one. So X has to be greater than one just to be in the domain of the problem. And so that's why that's the answer. Okay, come on. Number six, that's an insult to our loins right there. You, you wish you get a problem like this on the test. How do you find the inverse? What do you do? You switch to x's and y's, e to the b, y plus c, and then now you have to solve for y. So the y is in the exponent of e, so you need to isolate that term. So what's the first step? Subtract c, divide by a. I'll tell you right now, I'm going to have several problems where there's only letters in it. You know, I'm not going to have numbers. You've got to be able to deal with it. Now, how do I get rid of the e? You natural log both sides. So you get natural log this is equal to, and what is the natural log of e to the banana? Banana. And then to solve for y, just divide by b. So you get natural log x minus c over a over b. And that's it. But it says like, okay, yeah, finally. <laughs> yeah, but the answer on the bottom is not that. <laughs> so was that the question? Yes. No, because look at how many people just scribbling furiously. <laughs> I keep telling you, and when you take calculus next year, this is the correct answer, but you look in the back of the book. That's not it. Or on the AP exam. That's the answer, but you've got to pick out the thing on the, on the multiple choice. So how do you get the answer on the bottom, Mr. Park? Well, isn't a, when you divide by b, isn't that just like 1 over b in the front? When you divide by a fraction, that's multiplied by the reciprocal. And since it's a logarithm, can't you put the number in the front up as the power? Yeah. And then there you go. That's your answer, right? 1 over b means the bth root, right? Just like one third power means cube root, right? One fourth power means fourth root. So the one over b power means b root. See, you guys are just not familiar enough with your properties of logarithms. You copy off, you just copy off the board. What is that going to do? It makes your life easier. No, I'll tell you what, you don't want to make my life easier if I could just put this as your grade. <laughs> okay, and then number seven is not even up there, but that's like the hardest part of the whole board sheet. <laughs> oh, wait, I thought seven was up there. Where? Show me. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was. No. Well, I need to Okay, just sit down. <laughs> We're not going to do all of number seven because number seven A is just an insult. Okay, but I don't know about these others like seven B. What about seven B? Do we have to do seven B? Okay, going to have a problem like that on the test, but it's going to be kicked up a notch as usual. If you guys don't sit down and grind out the problems, how are you going to learn? Ma? Silence, I said. Well, you never responded before. <laughs> okay, one of these, you can put the power in the front. You put the wrong one in the front, that's, a, that's called a fatal error. Which one goes in the front? Lamb! Three. Okay, very good. No! <laughs> <laughs> My three, I meant four. Oh, yeah, very good. <laughs> 
If anybody puts this dream in front of you, are you kidding me? This, you can put the four in the front like that. Does everybody see that? Yeah. These two are two different animals now. This is the whole thing cube. This one, just the argument is, is raised to the power. That's the one you can put the four in front. See, that's why I put this problem here, to see if you know the difference. And good thing I did, right? Because on the test, maybe half of you would get fatal error. It's 50-50 chance. And then now, you want to do use substitution or no need? You guys are man enough. I'm not a man. <laughs> okay, let's do a u substitution. u equal ln x. You guys got to start weaning yourself up. U cubed equal 4u. Hey, that's algebra 1. How do I solve this equation? Divide both sides by u. No. <laughs> no, just lost the solution right there. You make one side 0, and you factor it. But see how, this is like easy kind factoring. You know the one on the test can be synthetic division. You just know it. And then those of you who are not practicing, just copying off the bottom, go pay for it. So u equals, I'm just going to do it here, u equals 0, negative 2, or 2, box that, that's the answer. No, no. no because now you've got to resubstitute back in. So natural log x is equal to 0, negative 2, or 2. How do you solve for x? How do I get rid of ln? You e both sides. e to the natural log x is x. e to the 0 is 1. e to the negative 2, you can't do anything with that. e to the 2, you can't do anything with that. Box that, that's your answer. We went over this before, people. Whenever you have a logarithm, you got to make sure the argument is positive. And are they? Yeah. 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 So that's the answer. Because if you don't cross it out when you're supposed to, that's minus 2 error now. OK, what about C? Change base, everybody use the change base formula. But for those of you who get it, Karamoto. <coughs> <laughs> you too now. <laughs> I know I got no. You know what? I'm not gonna kick you out of class because then you're just wasting my time. Because then I gotta stay after school. <laughs> Why do I wanna do that? I just gonna walk. Around. Okay, when's trick starts? I just go walk around the room. I just wanna see an effort. I don't. It doesn't have to be all right because nobody can do it all right unless some people can, right? <laughs> I'm just going to give you 0 or 5. So you're not going to collect homework anymore then? No, I am. I'm just looking for effort. But then when I collect it on the test, I'm looking for correctness, oh, right? So you can get stuff wrong, like you can just say whatever. Oh my not gosh, whatever. What are you doing? We'll see you sure you want to say, 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 say these things? Just, just think it in your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Just like, okay, you want to play that game? I'm going to play this game. <laughs> what about C? I'm asking C. Oh, yeah. oh, I forgot to erase Ma's grade there. It's <laughs> log base 4 of 3 equals negative 1 and a half. Okay, now if you see logarithms and they have different bases, you got to change the base so you can work with it, right? So what do you want to do? Change this to base 4? Change that to base 3, or change them both to some other base, like 10 or E. It doesn't matter. Pick one and go with it. But since all answers are going to be written in natural log on the test, I'm telling you right now, get into the habit of just natural logging everything. So I'm just going to change everything to natural log. So this is LM. Ma, redeem yourself. I don't know. <laughs> change your base. Look, even if you don't do your homework, if you just listen in class, you can pick up something, right? Kanemoto, LN. Oh, and then cancel out the LNs. <laughs> and then this one is LN3 over LN4, and that's equal to negative 3 halves. That's called change of base. And then, can I cancel out the LN3s, though? <coughs> yeah. That's you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. And so now, cross multiply, you get natural log x, well not cross multiply, mul multiply both sides by ln4. So you get negative 3 halves ln4. Now what the heck do I do? 
Well, since you have a logarithm, I can put the number in the front. Up is the power. And if natural log gorilla equal natural log banana, then isn't gorilla equal to banana? And then isn't that a number we know? One over eight. Wait, let me look at the bottom. I hate you. <laughs> okay, well, now D, U substitution. Everybody can do U substitution. U equal E to the X and synthetic division, right? Okay, what about E? We had a problem like that the other day. Natural log both sides? Yes or no? Natural log both sides? Shall we go to F already? Because yeah. we're, we're, we're down to less than 10 minutes here, people. Yes, we are. Okay, F. 2 log base 16x over log base 16. You know, I got this right off. This is a math team problem. This was given on a math team test like 20 years ago or something. But then I, I liked it, so I put it on the worksheet. Now, again, I see logarithms and they have different bases. So I'm going to have to change the base. Now, you can change it to any base you want. Like, if you want to change everything to natural log, fine. But then, look, one thing I notice is, hey, this number is the same as that number. Now, you know when you change the base, look, log base B of A is equal to log base C of A over log base C of B, correct? This is the change of base formula. Mm -hmm. You're used to going from here to here. But you gotta be able to go from there to there, and you gotta be able to go both directions. So watch what I do. First step, we'll put the number in the front up as the power, and then watch this. Hey, isn't this the same as log base 64 of x squared? What? Look, go from here to there. Mr. Park, I'm going to one direction. Some of us can't go any direction. <laughs> and then this one is log base 64 of 2x minus 6. No, go from there to there. See, now they both base 64, and then now you can work with it. E equals 1 half. So you guys better look at that. How, how did you do that? Well, I just used this from here to here. And then, since it's minus, this is the same as log base 64 of x squared over 2x minus 6. And then if I want to get rid of a log base 64, you 64 both sides. You 64 both sides. So you, 64 to the log base 64 of armadillo is armadillo. 64 to the half is bowl constrictor. And so you cross multiply x squared is equal to 16x minus 48. So x squared minus 16x plus 48 equals 0. And that factors, although I have no doubt on the test, you guys, some of you are going to be doing quadratic formula. So is that a 4 and a 12? Yes, so x equal 4 and 12, box that, that's the answer. I keep telling you, okay, here's the original problem. Whenever you have a log equation, you got to make sure that this and this are positive. And are they? Yeah, so both of them are the answer. Because some of you are just writing it down because either you copy off the bottom or you're just copying off the board. How come you're not copying off the board? Is it working so far? <laughs> we'll see if it works on this test. Let's see if it works. Okay, next. We're running out of time, people. What about okay, what about number eight? We're not we're not gonna do all okay, I'll just tell you right now. A, A, and B, just look at the graph. Just look at the graph and answer the questions. But what about C and D? Just do it. Whatever. Limit 
n approaches infinity, n natural log n plus 3 all over n. Now, please don't do this, because I remember every, every year there's always students who do this. Oh, Mr. Park, as n approaches infinity, what, what does that thing in the parentheses go to? 1, right? Remember, if the degree at the top and the bottom are same, look at the coefficients for the horizontal asymptote. So yes, I agree, this goes to 1. And what is natural log of 1? What's natural log of 1? Are you kidding me? 0. So this gets closer and closer to 0. Oh, so 0 times anything is 0. No, that's because this is going to infinity. See, if this was a number here, like 5, then 5 times 0 is 0. But this is not a number. This is going to infinity. So this is something that's getting closer and closer to zero. This is something getting close that's going to infinity. Zero times infinity, we call that indeterminate. That means it's not zero. It's a number that's going to zero. And this is a quantity going to infinity. You know what I'm talking about? So how do you tell what it is? You know me. Know me. You massage it. Anyway, doesn't that look like something we've been doing? Yeah. Yeah, so what can I do? First step, I can put this thing in the front. Up is the power. Hey, that, doesn't that look like your coins right there? Yes. And so, lift and separate. So 1 plus 3 over n to the n. So just this thing right there, as n goes to infinity, this gets closer and closer to e to the third, right? Remember, whatever number is there, that's the power of e. So this thing gets closer and closer to e to the third, but then you got a natural log. What is the natural log of e to the third? Third. People, if you don't practice blow me, know me, I don't know how you guys can, like, uh, no worries, Mr. Park, I'm going to clutch up. <laughs> Are we doing D, yes or no? We only got, we're less than five minutes, people. Nice. Doesn't this look like a problem I gave you? Never mind. <laughs> hey! I, oh, I know what problem I'm going to put on the test three. I know. I already know. <laughs> hey, doesn't this look like something we had before? Expo log two or three? Two. Where you have to draw number two. You have to draw the graphs on the graphing calculator. Remember? Yeah. Hey, this is, hurry up. We're running out of time. I'm not going further until somebody gets it. This is continuous thing. No. <laughs> Logistic growth. Population grows like this. So I'm asking, what's the limit as t approaches infinity? See, because as you go out, go out to the right, there's a horizontal asymptote. So basically, I'm asking you, what is the horizontal asymptote here? Quick. Well, what does this go to? As t gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this thing right here gets closer and closer to? What happens when you plug in a really huge number for t, like a billion? You get e to the negative b billion. It's getting closer and closer to zero. So if that's getting closer and closer to zero, the whole thing is getting closer and closer to c. What is C over 1 plus 0? C. C. Oh my god. We've got less than a, we're down to a minute. So you got 9 or 10 and both of these are on the test. See what happens when you dilly-dally? You got the factory. So which one are we going to do? 9 or 10? Quick. Make, make, a, make a choice here. 9. Okay. Hyperbolic cosine. Hey, we learned that e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2, right? Remember? That's the definition of hyperbolic cosine. Do I have to give you the definition on the test? Yes. Okay, maybe I will. <laughs> okay, now solve this equation. We got one minute to solve this equation. Cross, multiply. e to the x plus e to the negative x equals 2. Hey, this looks like the quantity of the quiz. U substitution. U equals? It is it 4. It is 4. <laughs> You don't want to say anything, but now I'm going to jump on Mr. Park. <laughs> you made a mistake. U substitution, U equals? You didn't make it. Okay, you guys try it at home. Make that substitution.
That's it. You know what? Forget about waiting to, for a trick to start. Tomorrow when we start. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know. We're going to do something. Okay, so we're going to wait tomorrow. I don't know. I'm just going to find out. <laughs> don't worry. You get a couple of zeros in a row, then you start learning. It. <laughs> no, for real. What do you wait? That's the only way to learn, huh? You got to get a few zeros. And maybe Mason? Huh? Nothing like a couple of zeros to bring you down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You know, last year's video was only like 16 minutes or something. <laughs>